And a very good morning to you. It is Thursday morning, the 8th of July, 2021. And this is your friend Angus Buchan with a thought for the day. Probably one of the saddest scriptures in the whole Bible. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 75. He went out and wept bitterly. We're talking about the apostle Peter, the leader of the pack. He denied his master three times. I want to ask you a question this morning. Is it possible for God to restore us again once we have let him down? Peter was restored, but not before he was totally broken. You see, he had taken the Lord aside. He had rebuked the Lord when he heard the story that Jesus told the disciples, I'm going to be crucified. And the Lord said, get behind me, Satan. Then he denied the Lord three times. I want to say to you, maybe today you have let the Lord down. Maybe you have not fulfilled what the Lord has asked you to do. But the Lord never gives up on his children. Right at the end of the Gospel of John, chapter 21, from verse 15 to 17, you can read it yourself. You'll see when Peter was totally destitute with the disciples that had gone back fishing, their hero had been crucified. There was a man on the shore who said, boys, have you caught anything? No, we've been fishing all night. Throw the net on the other side. And they pulled in 153 of St. Peter's fish. And then the Lord asked Peter three times, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Feed my sheep. You see, Peter started off as a worldly Christian and he ended up as a spiritual Christian. We really need to seek the Lord in these last days. You know, the first sermon that Peter preached 3,000 souls came to Christ. The same man that went out and wept bitterly because he had let the Lord down. The Lord Jesus loves you so much today. He says, confess your sins. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then go out, go out and throw the net out and tell people about the soon coming King because he loves you so much. You know, I want to say to you, in closing, the thing that I love the Lord Jesus Christ about more than anything else is that he's got a bad memory. <laughs> That's right. You see, when he forgives, he forgets. He didn't bring it up and say to Peter, you know, Peter, you denied me three times and you said that you would die for me. No. He said, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Feed my sheep. And the Lord's done that to me, not once, many times. And he wants to do it for you today. Get up, dust yourself off. Get back in the race and the master's going to run with you all the way to the finish line. Have a wonderful day. God bless you and goodbye.